Oh, shoot. I forgot to add. Um, here's another one. This is called uh, La Fille de Berlin by Serge Luton. And as you know, La, uh, Serge Luton is one of my favorite houses because it's like one of those um, um, avant-garde houses. Well, they were avant-garde before more avant-garde people came in and kind of diluted the field. So they were a forerunner of avant-garde. So my admirations to them. I had always wanted to afford these when I was younger, but I never had the money, So, but I do now. Okay, so another rose one, uh, their famous rose one is, well, they have two. One is called Sa Majest Majeste Le Rose, meaning the, the majesty, uh, her majesty, the rose, which is like a white uh, rose with honey accents. But I didn't want that because basically that sounds like a recipe for disaster for an allergic person because honey and florals together, ah, you know what I mean? Allergy central. But this one is uh, a winter fall rose um, called La Fille de Berlin. And La Fille de Berlin just means... Um, you know, girl of Berlin, you know, a Berlin girl. Uh, and basically, um, it's a, a spicy, sort of like a whiny, uh, like red wine rose, uh, spicy, kind of like mold wine for a, a metallic kind of green red rose with wine for winter and fall. So this is really nice uh, for fall and winter if you guys like uh, wearing the rose for that time and the, the another thing is isn't this juice really pretty I like how they they put in you know the effort to make the juices like even look like their descriptions like look at this doesn't this look much more like appealing than just a plain like yellow perfume or something like that this is just like I said it was it looks just like wine too okay now this is really the end sorry about that I meant to I meant to talk about this during the rest of the segment. Um, now I'll have to splice this in. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later uh, on another topic. Thank you. Bye.